G'day mates, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is one of my most exciting ones ever. I can't wait to show you what EU Pro Martos has discovered. He's found a way to combine a joystick with mouse and keyboard to give you all the benefits of controller with all the benefits of mouse and keyboard and none of the downsides. This might be one of the most broken things I've ever seen in Fortnite and one of the best ways you can become a ridiculously good player and it only costs about $50. Like honestly, this is is ridiculous. I can't wait to show you why it's now possible, how Martos actually does it, how you can do it, and then just show off some of these ridiculous clips. Because when I first saw it, I didn't even believe this actually existed. Before we jump in the video, guys, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this should even be in the game after I show you how ridiculously unfair this is. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It would mean the world to me. First off, before I even explain what is going on, let me just show you a clip of exactly what Martos is doing right now. So I've taken this from Martos' YouTube to show you what's going on. As you can see, just your normal super clean edit and aiming, but this is the main part, the joystick. So what Martos has been able to do is combine a joystick with his keyboard and mouse, which is giving him full 360 movement. He can move sideways at full speed. He can face forward and strafe like controller players, but then he still has the keybinds of mouse and keyboard. He has the mouse to aim and edit with, which is so much easier. And he still has scroll wheel reset. He literally has everything. This is so broken. So let me show you exactly what it is. Now, if you want to pick up one of these, I'll put the link in the description down below. It's from Gaming Mod Kits. It's the keyboard joystick. It costs about $50. Now, I don't have any affiliate with them. I'm not sponsored. Martos isn't sponsored either, but he does have a code. If you're going to buy this, use code Martos so he gets some help because he's the one who's discovered this and really got it out there. So what it is, it's a joystick that you put underneath your keyboard or right up against your keyboard. It's just a USB in, nothing crazy. It's super, super easy to set up. And then what it allows you to do is have your thumb on the joystick and then press all these different keys with these different fingers. Now, you don't obviously have to do it the way they suggest, but this is the way that I'm seeing Martos use it. The most crazy part about this is because Martos was able to unbind W, A, S, and D for movement because he has the joysticks, he has all these keybinds. He has all the keybinds he needs. He can now build with full free movement on his thumb and then use all his other fingers for all the other keybinds. The only thing that I think is a little bit difficult is the jumping, but it's really not that hard. Here it suggests you put it on Z or Z, but really it doesn't matter too much. I'll link to Martos' video in the description down below where he talks about his keybinds as well, but this is just insane. It even has a button right next to the thumb that Martos is using for pickaxe, so it even gives you an extra keybind. And if you don't know why full 360 movement is so strong, things like side jumping, even just box fighting, if you have a box fought your friend on controller and they can strafe to the side looking forward at full speed, mouse and keyboard could never do that except with double movement binds, they got taken out and then Martos has gone above and beyond. I think this is so much more broken than double movement binds on mouse and keyboard. Now let's just have a look at some of this, how Martos plays on this. So he's literally got complete full movement and control. He's been on this for less than a week and already relearned all his new keybinds because that's going to be the biggest issue. If you're going to swap to this, honestly, you will be an insane player in the long run. But I have to imagine that most players will not be able to learn all their keybinds this quickly. But honestly, the ability it now gives you to do so many things you couldn't otherwise do is just insane. Controller movement with scroll wheel reset and then all the keybinds of mouse and keyboard. The only thing you're missing now from controller is aim assist. But honestly, most people would trade that. If you've got good aim on mouse and keyboard and you can get off clean edits, the only thing that most people complain about with controller these days is the movement. And you now have that. I don't know if every pro is going to start switching to this. I don't know if Epic Games is going to get rid of it out of the game. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they find a way to stop this. The only reason it's now possible is because they've changed the way that Fortnite works when you have multiple inputs. Back in the day, if you had a controller in and you turned the joystick, it would instantly turn the input into controller where it no longer does that. I don't know if Epic intended for this to be in the game though. Again, guys, full credit goes to Martos for discovering this. He let me use all his clips, all his content. So please go check him out. His YouTube will be in the link in the description down below. I'll put his Twitter as well, because that's where a whole bunch of these clips are. Make sure you go check him out, because he's got a full video of his first arena win on these joysticks. And honestly, he is only going to get more and more ridiculous in the weeks to come. If that's how good he is in one week of relearning all his keybinds and playing on a joystick, he is going to be an absolute monster, even more insane than he already is. Now, 
The last thing I wanted to talk about today and get your guys' thoughts on was the new bundle skins that are coming out and this new like subscription system with Fortnite. So they've already leaked a couple of the skins from next season. It looks like Fortnite is going to be getting a subscription-based system where you pay a certain amount of money a month, you get V-Bucks every month and an exclusive skin. A lot of people are really happy about this. A lot of people are really, really against it. I'm not really sure how I feel on it just yet. The price looks like it's not too bad. And again, in a game that's going to survive off microtransactions like Fortnite, if, as long as they only give a cosmetic benefit, you don't need to have the skins, you don't need to have the items, then I don't really mind if they add more ways to raise more money because the more people willing to spend money on the game, the longer Fortnite is going to survive. And I really hope if this subscription system raises a whole bunch of money, like I think it will because the skins look really, really good, then that money goes back to competitive and you get that money back in tournaments. So let's break down exactly how much it is and what you're getting though to see if you think it's going to be worth it. The Fortnite crew, which is what this subscription system is, was announced by Fortnite on their Twitter with a video and a website link. I'll put both those in the description down below. But basically, this is looking like a really good system in my opinion. Like, it is ridiculously good value for money. It's $11.99 a month. You get 1,000 V-Bucks. The battle pass that usually costs you at least $15 to $25 if you get the bonus one. And you get an exclusive skin every month. So if you get the first one, let's just say you only get the first one because you can cancel at any time. You'll spend $12 to get almost $12 of V-Bucks back the battle pass on top of that for free and an exclusive skin that honestly looks ridiculously clean like this first skin they're starting with or the two that we've seen in the video both look beautiful so honestly i can't see why people wouldn't do this i don't know maybe people are going to have an issue with the subscription system because you know a lot of people go on these kind of systems and then forget they have them but honestly you're just going to be racking up skins and v bucks so i don't really think anyone's going to complain too heavily i haven't seen too much negative criticism towards this when obviously whenever fortnite bring out a new system there's always someone to complain about it but i think even this is just too good value to complain about it's just you're saving money i'm definitely going to be getting it and i don't even buy that many skins i'm basically waiting for mogul master to come back out so i can buy every variant and then never buy another skin again now, I know a whole bunch of you guys have been asking, where is the 100K YouTuber subscriber special? And it's coming, I promise you. I am doing a full setup tour for that. The reason why it's delayed is because I just picked up a beefy, beautiful new PC. I'm changing out how my whole room layout works. I have both my PCs next to me, all the cable managing done. Trust me, the wait will be worth it. And I'll do like a before and after, and I'll fully explain how everything works. I'm sorry it's taking a while. I'm just about to do a massive upgrade, and I want to make sure that's in it when I show you. All right, guys, that does it for another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comments section down below if you haven't already what your thoughts are on this new Fortnite crew system and whether you think that joystick is going to be taken out of the game because it's looking ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You know it means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.